Hey everybody, this is Troy with eBuzz Central. Today we're taking a look at Linux Lite. Very impressive little operating system, but before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, maybe buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to my channel over on Patreon, those links will be in the description below. Linux Lite. First thing we're going to do is we're going to zip on over to their website, which is linuxliteos.com. I'll be sure to include that down below in the description. You've got home. On home, it tells you introducing Linux Lite. Simple, fast, free. The free, easy-to-use operating system. Linux Lite is a gateway operating system, your first simple, fast, and free stop in the world of Linux. It is based on Debian and Ubuntu, so you know it's going to be pretty simple and pretty solid. Our ongoing mission is to make the transition from Windows to Linux Lite as smooth as possible. Linux Lite is a free operating system based on the Ubuntu LTS series of releases. It's got a total of 32 million downloads. Their website is getting a little bit over 1.3 million hits a month. They have 74 million support views and 9,000 social media followers. And if you download Linux Lite, throw it on a USB, put it in a virtual machine, or open it in known boxes, this is the screen you're met with. The so welcome to Linux Lite, of course. It says start here. You can install updates, install drivers, set a restore point, install language support, select a dark or light theme. Then we'll scroll to the top here. You can install your updates. You can install drivers, setting a restore point, installing language support, UEFI and secure boot, select a dark theme, keyboard and number lock, upgrading to 5.6, light software. And it kind of gives you computer requirements and things like that. Let's go ahead and close out of that. You've got one panel down here on the panel. You've got time. You've got sound, internet, and then panel preferences, I guess. Let's go ahead and open that. Refresh cache twice a day. Command for installing updates. So let's close out of that. Over here, you got show desktop. You've got Firefox where we were just at. You have your file manager. Let's go ahead and check that out. And this looks to be the Thunar file manager let's double check yes it is 1.8.14 it is a light easy to use file manager it's got your usual suspects over here and then of course your regular file system folders right here not much in terms of customization but it's a good looking file manager and you can get your work done and it stays out of your way so let's close out of that then let's open up terminal and i want to see there is a little bit of transparency on the terminal that's nice Let's see if they've got HTOP installed, and they do. I have issued this machine 2 gigabytes of RAM. At present, at rest, with just the terminal open, we're at 991 megabytes being used. I have issued it two CPUs, and we're running less than 3%. So I'm going to minimize that down, make that a little smaller. Let's close that. Let's right-click. You can open window, create launcher, create URL applications properties let's see if we can change the wallpaper and it does have a pretty nice set of wallpapers still open in cars colors and then a bunch with the feather for the linux light and it looks like they've taken a spin on the miller light logo linux light a true linux distro that's pretty funny I'm going to go with something like that, and I'm going to close. That looks good. So we'll go back to desktop settings. You've got your menus, things you can change on your menus. You've got icons, icon size, default icons that you got over here on your desktop. Go ahead and close out of that. Well, let's right-click, panel, panel preferences, number of rows, one, row size, you can lock the panel. Let's see. Can we make the row a little bigger? Okay. Yeah, you can go right here, make the row bigger, smaller. Let's just bump that up a little bit. Appearance. There is no style in the background. Adjust size automatically is on. And then items. Okay, so you've got things you can add to your panel right here. So if you want to add something, you just hit the plus. Scroll down through here. Find out what you want to add. Select it. And then click add. Okay. Pretty impressive. Let's close out of that. I am really liking the look of Linux Lite. Interesting. So let's go down here to the Applications menu and click on that. 
You've got favorites, of course, recently used all applications. My computer, which has your file system and has all of your home folders, settings, about me, appearance, customize the look of your desktop. Let's click on that, see what we got there. Style, we're at add way to Nocto. If we go add way to dark, kind of changes things up. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Icons, we're running the Papyrus Nocta. We could actually go with the Papyrus theme. Fonts. So you can select your font, adjust the size of your font, or you could just DPI, just come down here and click, and it'll make everything a little bigger. And then settings, toolbar, style, icons, text, text under icon. So you could change that if you wanted to, make it run a little lighter. All right, so let's close out of that. Back over here to settings. We looked at appearance. You got color profile, desktop, display, firewall, install drivers, light, DMGTK, light sounds, light tweaks, light upgrade, light welcome, accessories, archive manager, file search, graphics, document scanner, GIMP. You got GIMP out of the box, paint, photo manager, internet. You got Thunderbird as your mail client, network connection, support, multimedia, volume control, VLC, Office, LibreOffice suite out of the box, and then system. Let's see what task manager says we're doing. Task manager says we're running at about 5% CPU process, 156, and we're running at about 31% of our memory. So it's not too bad. It's pretty light. It's a good looking distribution. When I downloaded this distribution with it being Linux Lite, I thought it was going to be really, you know, bare bones. It's a good looking operating system. It definitely is. If you've got an older piece of hardware and you want to bring it back to life, I think Linux Lite would definitely do that. So tell me what you think. Is Linux Lite something you might download, throw on a USB or put in a virtual machine and take on a test drive? Let me know in the comments below. Do me a favor before you leave today, please like and subscribe or follow my channel. It doesn't cost anything, and if you end up not liking me, you can always unsubscribe. If you want to follow me on my socials, buy me a cup of coffee, or better yet, become a patron to the channel over on Patreon. Those links are in the description below. Thank you for watching my video, and I'll see you in the next video.